Well, hello, good people. Today, we're gonna take a look at face swapping in Focus. And it's actually pretty easy to do. And I've already pre-generated some images here. And all you have to do really is, let me zoom in a bit here. Click on input image and you're gonna see various options. We'll go into image prompt. This is where you can drop in your reference images. Now I'm showing you AI generated images first because I wanted to show you that it works best with AI images, but you can use real photos as well with some stipulations. We're gonna start with one image and at the very bottom, you wanna select advanced. Then you'll have some options here for stop at wait. Here you'll see face swap. So let's select that. Stop at is basically when it generates, think of it as a percentage. It's gonna stop at 90% and finish the last 10% without the face swap. So basically you're telling the AI, focus on the face 90% of the time, okay? In terms of weight, start with a default 0.75. In some cases, I've had to go as high as 0.9, even at one. So your mileage may vary. So what I wanna do here is completely change the scene, but keep her face. So we're gonna change the background to, let's say nature and mountains. And she's wearing street clothes. So let's say wearing a summer dress. Let's give it, you know, a nice sunset atmosphere. Let's go ahead and generate those images. So let's take a look at the reference image. And now let's see the new images that were made. So it keeps the likeness of the original image. Obviously the clothing is different and the facial features could be worked on, but for the most part, it honors that initial image. Now, as I said earlier, you may have to play around with the weight. I would say stop at 0.9 is a good place to leave it. Again, you'd have to experiment, but for AI generated images, the default tends to work really well. Now, the other thing you can do is to utilize some of the control nets. Let's put in a reference image and I'm gonna use Canny here. We'll leave it at its default settings and I'm gonna go ahead and generate four more images. And you can see as this generates, it's adopting the same pose as the reference image. Now the way Canny works, it takes the edges and outlines of the image and uses that as information. If we look at the first image generated here, the hands look okay. This one could use some work, but as you see, it still looks like the same person. Edge is a good way to get decent hands. We may have to in-paint this one, or we could even adjust the strength here. Okay, let's take a look at the images. Not too bad. We'll definitely have to touch up this hand here. The face looks great. It honors the original reference image. This one, the teeth is kind of funky, but you get my point. It works pretty well. I think out of all of them, this one is the best one. We just have to touch up some areas there. Now you could put multiple reference images to help shape the image even more. Now, how does it work with real photos? Well, I'm gonna use some stock photos here and we're going to use this one here. Again, we're just gonna leave it at its default settings. And I'm just gonna put a simple prompt here, photo of a man. He's just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, but here we're gonna put him in, let's say a purple suit. <laughs> and uh, instead of nature in mountains, let's put him inside a cathedral. I don't know why that came to me. Let's just put cinematic. And for the model, I'm gonna leave it with realistic stock photo. This is another thing you wanna consider when you're using a real photo. You might wanna start with the base model because custom models tend to have a default look and it may not look like your reference image. Realistic stock photo I find works pretty well. And then in terms of the styles, you might wanna experiment with these. I find the default ones work pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and generate this now and see what we come up with. All right, let's take one more look at our reference image here and check out our man in a purple suit. So as you can see with his face, it does resemble him quite a bit, not 100% exactly. And that's why I was telling you with certain models. So you might have better luck with the default SDXL model, but all in all, not bad using this one. And I will tell you for certain people like myself, for whatever reason, it just doesn't pick up my likeness. It tends to make me an older Chinese man, which is fine, but I'm Filipino and I'm not that old. Now in this case, this is another stock photo that I tried. 
And for the most part, it looks like the reference image. So I think for some of you, unfortunately, it's not going to pick up your likeness and others it will. But for some reason, if you're like me and it's not working, don't take it personal. There is sort of a bias sometimes when it comes to AI image generation. And if you happen to be new to Focus, make sure to check out this video on how to install it. It's super simple. But until next one, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.